hard work, stressful, um, a lot of pressure, but um, exhilarating and satisfying because really you're a teacher and uh, teaching kids, making them better each day is one of the big pluses and big bonuses of being in the football industry. It's not about winning and losing. Yeah, I was, I was a player, got injured. I was on crutches for about three months and um, I was at Oxford, small club, um, very little budget, very little coaches and uh, there was an opportunity to take the youth team in the reserves and I took that opportunity. Um, from day one, loved it and I've loved it ever since. First and foremost, you have to get the qualifications, you have to get the knowledge. That's most important. You have to work and work and work so hard. Never stop working 24-7. And um, find somebody, find a mentor. It's usually a teacher. But really find somebody who will, uh, will guide you along the path, someone more experienced, someone who you can um, be a sounding board. And then I think the most important is, is to... Uh, is to Keep going out of your comfort zone. Never, never get uh, too down when you fail. Always risk high, high risk, high reward. And um, if you do fail, just get back on the on the bike or back on the horse and and try again. But you know this life is about um, you know successes, yes, but a lot of successes come a lot of failures beforehand. So never mind that, and uh, as I say, keep working hard. Oh, without a doubt. Um, definitely in terms of coaching, um, in terms of management. Um, you can do a lot of learning and a lot of courses and a lot of uh, background work, but until you're in the seat, uh, you never know what it's like to manage. But coaching, I always say, is the, is the best job in the world. And managing can be, but very stressful. Most definitely, especially uh, in the modern day, uh, you have to have that knowledge, you have to have that background. So uh, a manager now has to have many, many hats. Um, because it's not just about uh, you know, recruitment, uh, picking the team. Uh, and making the changes over the game but now it's about managing upwards it's about board level it's about media it's a lot about um, what I call the theatre it's not just about on the stage it's about everything as I say um, recover um, don't mind um, you know I've, I've done that in my career if, if, taken high risks on, on many things and some have worked and, and some haven't and uh, what I've done is just retreated back into my cave with my notebook, learn the lessons, come back out the cave and try again. Yeah that's a good, I think one of the um, things early on of the coaches and I've just been on the pro license you know. And, uh, and several other courses and, and now there's uh, psychometric testing to know yourself to know your strengths and your weaknesses and I think that's very very important because if you know your strengths and your weaknesses you know what you're good at uh, the people around you need to fill in the gaps where you're not so good Wow <laughs> that's a tough one um, I think the breakthrough, really the breakthrough, definitely in terms of, of coaching, in, in, in terms of coaching was at Manchester United winning the treble, uh, that was a magnificent moment. In terms of managing, I think going from number two to a number one was very, very difficult, uh, but winning the first trophy, uh, the, the old Carling Cup, the League Cup, 
was was the breakthrough as well. So there have been breakthrough moments and when I look back, probably the best. <laughs>